Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's George. So a few days ago on Facebook, somebody posted if the Primal Cut 60 could do stainless steel cuts. And I've never cut stainless steel, so got some quarter inch material here. 0.250. And I used some stencils. I drew three letters here. And I'm going to try to cut them freehand. Might use a, a guide, you know, on the on the straighter parts there. But um, I'm very curious to see if it'll cut quarter inch. I might even have some 1 8 plate that I'll try. So um, I'm going to be putting some new consumables on the torch. Got these from the website. I'm going to use a new guide, new electro, new nozzle. And we're going to see what the machine is capable of. So stay tuned. So the pressure drops to 60. That's good. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I got all the grooves on here. Made a nice cut there. I mean, it'll cut right through it. Um, I don't have a really steady hand there, so I'm gonna have to use my grinder and uh, fix it up. But I'm pretty sure that looks like a C. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off camera there, and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, once again at 40, 46 amps, part of the unit off. There's the pressure. Now this is how it looks once I cleaned it up. This is the back side. You can see the slag on there. And here's the front side. Now I did make a mistake here on the W. I went a little bit past it, but this is a test on 
if it can cut quarter inch plate. Other than that, I think it came out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the letters and um, go from there. Now the flap disc on here is 120 grit. You can see where I overshot it, but it doesn't matter. Looks decent. The edges are straight enough for me. All right, guys, so here are the letters. They came out decent. Once again, freehand, just kind of shaped them up a bit there. On the inside, I don't have any tool to get in there. Um, I'll pick up something later on. The W, like I said, I overshot it, but it'll work. If I got to put some filler material in there, I will. And here's the last one, the G. I am a little bit off there, but once again, freehand. Looks pretty good. And I'll be welding these on my gooseneck trailer. And hopefully I enjoyed the video, guys. If it can do quarter inch, I'm pretty sure it can do a thinner material. And here's the, the machine. The Cut 60 running on a 8.3 extension cord there using a 60 gallon dewatt compressor and yeah that's it for this video guys hopefully you enjoy it and see you on the next one bye bye